Uh, NBC is responding to this for the first time. Lauer has not yet. Uh, but here's what's new. Here's what we know that's breaking overnight. Variety magazine has published excerpts of Ronan Farrow's new book. It contains these allegations about Lauer's uh, conduct when he was the host of the Today Show. Uh, Farrow spoke for the first time on the record with the woman whose claims led to Lauer's firing. Her name is Brooke Neville. She's a former NBC News producer and a former assistant to Meredith Vieira. She tells Farrow that she was raped by Lauer while they were there covering the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia. Neville's alleges that this happened after a night of drinking with Vieira and Lauer at a hotel bar. She says she had six shots of vodka, and then Lauer invited her up to her room, but according to Farrow, she had no reason to suspect that Lauer would be anything but friendly based on prior experience. Neville then says that once in the room, Lauer forced himself onto her and raped her. Neville tells Farrow, quote, it was non-consensual in the sense that I was too drunk to consent. Now, this uh, did not end there. Neville tells Farrow that she and Lauer had other consensual sexual encounters later on. She describes them this way, saying it was completely transactional. It was not a relationship. Neville did not immediately report this alleged attack to NBC Universal executives. She says she confided in Vieira three years later, that's in 2017, and Vieira urged her to get a lawyer and report it to NBC Human Resources. That's what Neville did, and that's what led to Lauer's firing. Now, so far, Lauer has not responded uh, to these new allegations. Neville's has not responded to our request for comment. But we have heard from NBC News. Uh, just now, NBC releasing a statement to me saying this, quote, Matt Lauer's conduct was appalling, horrific, and reprehensible, and we said it at the time. Uh, that's why we fired, with it, fired him within 24 hours of us first learning of the complaint. Our hearts break again for our colleague. Uh, now, it's remarkable to see how the Today Show's uh, host, uh, Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kopi, are handling this. Here's how Savannah addressed it on the air just moments ago. You know, this is shocking mm -hmm. and appalling, and um, I honestly don't even know what to say mm -hmm. about it. I want to say that we, um, I know it wasn't easy for our colleague, Brooke, to come mm -hmm. forward then. It's not easy now, mm -hmm. and we support her and any women who have come forward with claims. And it's just very painful for all of us at NBC and who are at the Today Show. And, um, you know, it's very, very, very difficult. Think back two years of 2017. At the time, NBC said that Lauer was fired due to an inappropriate sexual relationship uh, at the workplace. Well, this is more than that. As, as Copy said this morning, this is not the allegation of an affair. It's the allegation of a crime. Again, Lauer has not responded today, but here's what he said back when he was fired in 2017. He expressed remorse, saying, there are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others. He, he went on to say that uh, his words uh, to the people that I have hurt, I am truly sorry. As I'm writing this, I realize the depth of the damage and disappointment I have left behind at home and at NBC. Lauer went on to say, some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized, but there's enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. And he said he regrets that he's hurt the people that he cherishes the most. So that's what Lauer said then. The allegations were involving harassment, involving inappropriate sexual behavior. Basically, the idea back then was that he was abusing his power as a big star to have affairs with women at the office. But again, this allegation in Farrow's book is very different. It is the allegation of a crime. And by the way, Farrow also reports uh, that Neville's left NBC in 2018, and she was paid out seven figures at that time.